Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Fortress Camelot um, and uh, yeah also welcome to Rudy uh, doesn't hold on to his own plans and just doing stuff he just wants to do um, because as I said I wanted to actually step back a bit uh, from YouTube and playing at the moment just to finish my Martha thesis and um, yeah, how this uh, quite often is in life. Uh, you have to do something, but you really want to do something else, and uh, obviously you do something else rather than what you should do. Um, but don't worry, I have done my stuff, so I'm, I'm still on schedule with my math thesis, so don't worry. But I had this, this wonderful uh, little boost in creativity a few days ago, and I really needed to go into um, Fortress Camelot again. Uh, also that the vintage pack was announced and uh, as you may have seen I haven't covered this on my channel. Um, I just uh, I just don't have the time to react that fast at the moment so uh, you pretty much have seen everything about the vintage pack quite yet I guess. So uh, there's no need for me to talk too much about this. Um, also considering uh, this little area over here I don't really think there will be too much in it it's what I know at the moment um, that will change it. So um, I, I could just go in and, and and use it to to an extent I want to use it because every now and then when there is an update around the corner, uh, you really don't want to play any longer because really the fear that you would build stuff which would be totally unnecessary and useless a few days later because of the stuff which is new in the DLC prevents me from playing the game. But but this time I really. I really haven't had the feeling that this will actually destroy too much in our uh, Fortress Camel Camelot um, medieval area. And I, I just wanted to go in, um, but that's also a good thing because then I could stop playing uh, Camel Studios for a while. Uh, because honestly, Camel Studios is something I, um, I I think will just gain a lot and profit a lot from the Vintage DLC. Especially because I went into this kind of 80s vibe. I mean, yeah, Vintage is even more, even older, so to say. But uh, even in the 80s style, I guess you can can do quite a lot with it. So um, I'm 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 quite happy that I found kind of a substitute substitute for it. And uh, here we are in Fortress Camelot. And this episode, I can only say, guys, it's amazing. We finally laid out everything for this area. So what you see in the video will be basically um, a lot of layouting uh, and at the end we will already go into what you can see right now which is basically at the moment a whole mess of walls uh, flying around. Um, and also within this video I'm going to, to tidy up a few things. Um, but yeah, well, what I uh, did then was I, I was planning ahead of myself a bit a few weeks ago what I wanted to have else in this area. And now I went back into the game and I just looked for what exactly was missing in Fortress Camelot. I, I had some things still in my mind that needed to be done uh, and I was like having a little checklist where I was checking what else I could do in here and then I said okay let's let's delete everything from the list which is not really necessary to make this a really nicely and kind of finished area without having to be sad that not everything went into it because you guys you, you had some amazing ideas what we could do else in this area and I want still to get a few things in I will do so but um, for the moment I just wanted to to finish it and there was one thing I'm I was quite let's say surprised that you don't really mention this too often um, but one thing I wanted to have the whole time and not really too many people mentioned this was the monastery and the monastery is, is really something and I hope I, I pronounced that the right way I was really re wondering why I didn't even know about the name and I needed to look that up before the episode but um, it, it, it really is this kind of thing where um, I was looking for the whole time because I, I feel this is a vital part of the medieval time. Um, because people people always say and, and come, they or just connect a lot of bad things to the medieval time. So, you know, people even claim that this time was the time where humanity made uh, the least progress in, in terms of technology and knowledge in general and, and, you know, all these kind of things. But in a way, that's not true because the the, 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 the thing about this is, um, and especially in, in uh, monasteries, there has been a huge knowledge buildup about medicine, uh, about um, 
various things in in kind of uh, just in science and stuff uh, that that is really impressive and I, I still wanted to have something like that in the park I really wanted to have a monastery in uh, a monastery I, I guess it, I hope hopefully pronounce that correctly and um, I, I really wanted also to incorporate a little flat ride in what you have seen it's a Monteleone uh, flat ride I used for it and I have to say that it's quite a bit of a um, a bummer <laughs> that I couldn't fit anything else in it because I needed to use a very small one because I really wanted to have this uh, little area in between um, the the little wallways and stuff so really I wanted to have like a patio um, in or how's it even called is it um, it's kind of an inner courtyard right so where you would have a little garden in and stuff and and so I, I placed the flat right there and was like oh damn it's it's a bit too big so let's just make not the garden but only only the flat right in the middle and so I had to find something else to to make this whole thing a little bit more monastery ish if that makes any sense uh, and that will be at the end of this episode but now let's focus on what's going on in the background so on the other hand side, or just the opposite side of this area, is this little um, untouched river rapids. It was there since the very beginning of this area, but it, it always was just floating there as a piece of something that really doesn't really make any sense and that really wasn't fit into the area. The only thing that was fit into the area is the little uh, river part at the very beginning, where also the coaster is going underneath that little bridge entering the Medieval area. But in general, there wasn't too much about this ride that, that felt finished and correct and so on. So I, I went back to it and I, I tried to, found, uh, to find a, a reason to, uh, to, to keep that thing there and actually to make it uh, somewhat believable in the position it is. And what I came up with is this little, um, as you have seen, the little um, water source, which is uh, leading into a little water stream that then goes into the river down there. And then we have our uh, little river rapids really now perfectly fit into the little lake over there. So uh, basically what I will do with it later on is we will just only have a little fisherman's hut there, which will be the entrance. Um, and the rest of it will be pure nature, so that really the the, the story about the river rapids is actually um, that it goes through the whole medieval area, and just the little fishing fisherman's house, the fishing hut, will be um, the only themed thing to it. I think that's kind of nice. Then we have like a highly themed uh, things within the park, and then we have this little less themed but kind of terrain and nature incorporated um, river rapids which I think now makes a lot more sense also that the area is ending over there and the river and the little lake is really kind of um, the border the borderline to the area so I, I really felt a lot better with it um, but yeah now we are back at the monastery and we have talked a lot about this uh, at the beginning of the episode so that I nearly couldn't catch up um, with the river rapids but I'm, I'm happy that I made the point now as you may have seen, it's uh, leaped a bit forward. This is because I lost a freaking three hours of footage again due to a crash. It was the only crash of the game for weeks now. Um, I, I was in, in a crazy flow. I've basically finished the entire monastery already and I was already starting to go into some very last finishing touches in, in the buildings that are in the middle of the... Um, town because we're missing still two little facades which I only do as facades so that's that's totally fine nothing too crazy going on there just to really finish that side of the city off or the town off um, but the, yeah the, the thing is the monastery was done and uh, this build right now you see is pretty much me trying to rebuild what I have done beforehand in three hours without doing it too detailed because I figured um, that like the, the first build I made was awfully awfully themed again and awfully detailed um, and it, it was even too crazy I guess and potentially that was also why the system was freezing then. Um, what you may figure is within all the last episodes that I try to point the camera always away from the from the little um, town and especially away from the Arabian area because this is which actually brings down my frame rate. I, I tested that, I just deleted the Arabian area just for the sake of testing and the park is back at solid 50 FPS. It's 
it's crazy. It's really at, at 50 FPS with over 100,000 pieces in the park, which is amazing. So it's only down to the Arabian area and I am quite sure that this is down to the fact that the Arabian area is potentially the most dense I've ever built, even though it seems to be quite big from the outside. It's incredibly dense in terms of pieces, in terms of uh, people, like there are multiple layers where people are roaming around, so um, you know the computer is not rendering only one level of persons and, and people and AI, it's, it's rendering like a m I guess four. You have like four layers of people running around and pieces and we have the coaster going on two levels. We have a flat ride going on. We have another flat ride going on. So it's it's everything packed into one little area. And once the camera is pointing there and everything has to be rendered, the computer pretty much fries. And uh, I, I try to kind of prevent this by building in another area. So um, that's why I try to always um, keep the camera in, in the other direction, so in case you wondered why, and I'm, I'm not looking too much from the other side of the building, but that's for a good reason, so just to explain that to you guys. Um, but yeah, you can really see now how the monastery is, is shaping up, and I really wanted to have these uh, like little little floorways, um, or doorways, or how they're even called. Um, I even don't know the German word for it. Um, uh, even though you have around the inner courtyard, you always have these kind of openish um, walkways where, where those they can go around and um, the monks the monks um, can kind of enjoy their time and read some books and whatsoever what they did back then uh, so uh, yeah like like that's the idea about these these I don't know what they're even called um, I can't even the thing is I, I don't really have the German word for it let me just think for a second totally lost it here um, like it's really, it does remind me always of, of Harry Potter, but this is basically why, because it's filmed in a monastery, so <laughs> that makes actually sense. Um, no, it's, uh, I can't really, I can't really think of the name right now. So basically it's like these, these kind of open um, ways where they can walk through. Let me just, let me just see if I can, like it's an open hallway, or an open corridor, I don't know um, how to call it, but this is basically what you quite often find there. And um, yeah, in, in comparison to what I have incorporated into the architectural style of the medieval area, which we have talked about a lot about, um, which is more like the, yeah, central European style, um, maybe with just some slight influence of Gothic style, um, as you can see also in the little chapel and now building off on that this area um, of the monastery is even more um, kind of build off of a gothic style not too much actually not too crazy um, it's uh, also taken from the little chapel so I imagine that the chapel would actually um, be something where the monks would be all the time and so like like it, it would kind of work together so this is also why I took some pieces of the of the little chapel to build it in the monastery as well to make actually sure that the uh, overall architecture is basically somehow the same so uh, I think that just worked out pretty well in the end um, I'm, I'm just you know I'm saying it's, it's not finished yet again like it was finished then I lost it and now it's not finished again um, but I'm quite happy with the result at the moment so we can go on to one of my favorite parts of, of this area and this is now something I wanted to to do for quite a while. Um, I, I, I know I say this quite often, but this is down to the fact that I have a million things that I want to do for quite a while. <laughs> and not even half of it I could have done uh, by now, but uh, yeah. Uh, so I wanted to have some grapes. Because like one thing I, I do really connect to monastery are grapes. Like you always have those little fields of grapes. Or actually they're not that little. You basically also have some bigger ones and because monasteries also were quite well known for making good wine. So uh, the source of alcohol in these medieval times is, was quite quite often also a monastery. Uh, these monks um, drank a lot of wine uh, and also beer later on. Like, like beer brewing was also a big thing of monks. So like alcohol in general. And it just appears that those people seem 
to to have a high need of alcohol while they were just reading through millions of books back then. Um, not going too much into detail, but uh, I think that helped um, by the stuff they're doing. But yeah, as you can see, um, and, and funny enough, and I'm not gonna lie, this was planned from the very beginning. And if you want to go back to one of the early episodes where I was building the coaster, I was already um, hinting at the fact that this this area next to the break run was already intentionally planned out to be this raised hill um, which is perfectly located in the sun um, because that makes sense because if you want to make your grapes grow nicely you would actually build them into this kind of hillside or um, into the hang is it is it also called hang I guess it's it's uh, it's a hillside basically um, so in, in on the slope of the hillside you would basically uh, put all your grapes in and as you can see now um, I wasn't 100% happy with my in with my own build so I I used these other um, pieces which already look a lot more like grapes <laughs> uh, to, to use them in there I actually wanted to have um, some greenish and some violet grapes but in the end I I ended up with only using the uh, violet ones so you can see already some screenshots over here because that's the end of this episode. This wa this time it was quite sped up uh, by 12 times, I guess. So uh, quite a lot because it was a lot of footage. But I don't want to make this artificially into, I don't know, three or four episodes. Uh, because there is not that much time at the moment and I don't really need to make this. And because there is something planned for the weekend, I had a lovely guest uh, for the recording uh, today. And uh, I made a recording of this area and of the whole park actually. It's a little park tour uh, in, of Camel Kingdom uh, which you will get on a Saturday or Sunday. I'm not quite sure right now. Uh, potentially on Sunday. Uh, where you can see actually how the actual... Uh, Camel Kingdom looks like together with my special guest which you will see who that was then But uh, for now guys if you liked that video consider giving it a thumbs up I would be really happy about that it really helps me out um, And also uh, if you haven't subscribed yet and want to see more of this creative stuff and also some talks about architecture and stuff like that in various games and in various uh, uh, Occasions or whatsoever make sure to hit that subscribe button and um, yeah I, I should stop this video right now over here and wish you all the best of a day that can be happen to you, whatever I'm saying right now. Uh, enjoy guys and see you in the next one. Bye bye. Would you be hiding out wherever we may find love?